you know, the TE offers a secure platform. So for storing keys, for cryptographic operations, it's, it's perfect for, for those, those key operations. Um, so given that foundation that, that we provide, um, there's numerous use cases that uh, service providers can leverage. So be it biometry with fingerprint sensors or iris scan, these kind of things. So we're seeing a lot of um, movement in that area. Um, also for digital rights management, for mobile payments, really, you know, anything that requires security, you know, strong protection of keys is, is a perfect, perfect use case for the TE. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of interest in the IoT space now as well. We're now um, providing our TE on the Samsung Arctic platform. So that opens a whole massive range of, of use cases in the IoT space as well, from secure parking sensors to healthcare monitoring. Um, you know, you, you name it, you know, the, the, we'll, we'll have to see what the future brings really when it comes to IoT, but any number of use cases in that area as well. I think when you're writing for the, for the TE, so when you're developing a trusted application, you need to bear in mind that you're working in an embedded environment. So you need to ensure that your code is very small quite often. Uh, it, and by being so, that's easier to then review for security. The TE brings a safe place to protect cryptographic keys, to protect application logic. And you, know, you can develop your application for this platform and regardless of whether the device is rooted or if there's malware infected on the device, you can still be confident that your application logic and secure data, your cryptographic secrets are still protected. So it's, you know, it's something that's always gonna be there, um, that can't be rooted, is established as part of a secure boot chain. So it's a really, really strong place to um, to, to perform your, your cryptographic operations and, and your, your security critical parts of your application in that space. One very important point is of course, you know, to use um, industry standard APIs. So use the global platform APIs that will enable you to deploy your application across any TE that supports that platform. So that's the one thing. Um, and also, I think, coming back almost to what we were talking about before, developers need to be mindful that, that um, you know, the TE, whilst you st it still runs on the main CPU, you have access to the, to the memory, you, 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 know, you need to be mindful to keep your code as, as small as possible, essentially. Um, you know, it's easier for it to be reviewed. It's, there's less risk of um, security vulnerabilities. So I think that what you need to do as a developer is just make sure you Think about the architecture or application before you start uh, developing. You know, identify the parts which are best suited to running in the TE and which parts are best suited to run in the rich operating system.